What up guys, what up? It's Dan Crank Brooklyn with video number two. The first video we talked about goals, how to set them in a specific and timely manner, and how to set little milestones in order to chunk your big goal down to small little bite-sized bits, all right? This video we're gonna talk about calories. All right, I know you're saying calories is so boring, just tell me the diet. Now the thing is, I want you to understand, every single diet works. I get this question asked a lot. Which diet is the best? Paleo, Mediterranean, intermittent fasting, low carb, high carb, Twinkie, if it fits your macros, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is every single diet and strategy works. All right, they all work. I've seen people lose weight on a Twinkie diet and I've seen people gain weight on a paleo style diet. Now the thing is, I think we tend to lose focus or lose understanding over the big picture. It happens to me, it happens to everybody in different facets of my life. We focus on the leaves and totally ignore the forest. And at the end of the day, there's no magical food, there's no this, there's no that, there's foods that help. There's no magical food that's gonna help you burn fat and build muscle. There's a lot of foods that help and it does boil down to calories. All right, we're gonna make this equation for you as easy as possible. There are dozens to choose from. I found this one to work the best. None of them are accurate. They're all off about a few hundred calories. So this is gonna save you some time, all right? First thing we're gonna do is, number one, we're gonna take your body weight. Multiply that by 10. Why 10? It works. It just works. My body weight is 200 pounds, all right? I weigh 200. Actually, I weigh a little over 200, but we're gonna make it uh, simple. I multiply that by 10. That brings me down to 2,000 calories. All right, 2,000 calories is my basic maintenance. This is what's gonna keep me alive. My heart beats, my brain moves, my blood pumps, my nerve endings, spew connections, all these good things happen as far as me staying alive at 2,000 calories. Now we have to take into account something called NEPA, a non-exercise physical activity. All right, and also we have to take into account the exercise that you do. Working out, running with your kids in the park, non-physical exercise activity, taking a shit, chewing your food, blinking, all these things burn calorie, we, calories and we have to take this to account. This is part two. Part two to this three-step process. I think it's three steps. We multiply this by 1.3 to 2.3, all right? 1.3 on the low end. If you don't do shit, if you just go to job, you work and sit there, ride the train, sit down at work, ride the train back, go to Costco, Walmart, maybe a little shopping at Macy's, nothing crazy. This, you work out vigorously. You have some kids that drink soda and don't stop moving and you have to run after them. You're a busy person, you have a dog. You move a lot, all right? So you kind of get where I'm going with this. The calories can be off, or not off, dramatically, they can differ dramatically. So if I multiply that, that can be 2,600 to 4,600 calories. Now what I did there is I multiplied my resting metabolic rate by this NEPA or movement activity. I got anywhere from 2,600 to 4,600. If I don't do crap, I need $2,600. If I'm busy as hell, I need 4,600 calories. Did I say dollars or calories? I don't know, I'll rewind it. So, you see how different it can be. I want you guys to choose wisely. So again, if you don't do anything, 1.3. If you're very busy and you work out at least five times a week, 2.3. All right, and then you run and you do all this other stuff. Maybe somewhere in between. Try that out. Try that out and see what works best. Again, this is all a template. Your body and metabolism is different than anyone else in this world, all right? So we're using these templates and these guidelines to figure out what works best for you. This is the plan and the strategy for you only. So let's try this out. We have anywhere between 26 and 4,600 calories. Number three. Number three is the last part. Now, and number three, we have to understand the direction that it is we wanna go. You know what your goal is. People come in here for three goals, for the most part. Burn fat, build muscle, athletic performance. 
We're going to focus on the first two. Athletic performance, we'll leave it for another video. But I like to use a percentage base caloric addition or subtraction. So I like to go anywhere from 10% calories to 25%. All right? So 10%, very conservative cut or gain. Con cut or bulk for you meatheads out there. 25%, very, very reckless or aggressive cut or bulk. All right? I like to use something that's a little long lasting, a little slow, and I don't like to, I don't want it to feel hard. Okay? I want it to be something I can sustain for a long time. So again, let's just say my calories are 2,600, right? I'm going to take away, because I'm trying to burn fat, I'm trying to lean out. I'm going to take away 10% from my 2,600. So, 2,600 calories, taking away 10%, that's 260. Let's see if my math is good. Let's see if my math is good for you guys. That's a four, this is a three, and that is a two. That should be right. Is that right? Four, three, two? Yeah, I think that's right. If it's wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know. So 260 calories taken away from my caloric maintenance, that should be anywhere from a little over a half a pound a week. 260 calories isn't much. It's very, very little. 260 calories is like three Oreos and a sip of milk, a couple less French fries, maybe one less beer a week, all right? It's not much, but it's enough to make a difference, okay? You can do the same thing with the bulk or gain. Now, what I want you guys to do, what I want you guys to do is, step one, take your body weight, multiply it by 10. Step two, take that number, Multiply it with the number you see fit. 1.3 on the low end for sedentary, 2.3 on the high end for very active. You'll get a couple of numbers, whatever number is best for you, all right? Only you know what you do, be honest with yourself. You multiply this number by anywhere between 10% to 25%. Understand, 25% is very aggressive and reckless. It comes with rapid fat loss or muscle building However, fat loss will be at a standstill very, very quick. You will hit a plateau fast. Muscle building, actually, I think it's gonna go into fat gain. If you're adding that many calories into your diet and you think you're gaining muscle, more than likely it's not. Have your body fat tested by a professional or somebody who, who does it often. The results may be skewed depending on who does it, all right? So you take this number, multiply anywhere between 10 and 25%. Again, consult a professional, consult a trainer, ask which is best for you. Now, you're gonna end up with this number. What I want you to do is hold on to this number. You don't eat these calories yet, all right? Because in the third video, I'm gonna let you know, or I'm gonna show you how to figure out if your metabolism is even ready to digest this number that we just found out. Some people have faulty metabolisms or metabolic adaptation, and I'll go, to the, I'll go into that in video number three. So again, you're gonna do steps one, two, three. You're gonna have this, write it down in your book on your piece of paper. This is your goal calories to shoot for. And in video number three, I'm gonna talk about how to find out if your body's even ready for these calories because if you start eating these calories right away, you may not gain the muscle that you're looking for. You may get a little fat. You may get a little fat. All right, guys, Dan Crank, Brooklyn, Crankomania.com. Video number two, stay on the lookout for video number three. I'm out, peace.